hungry, but it's okay. Kicking this off for another fitness stream. I think today's routine will be a little bit more complete than the previous version because I will only have one fitness and health episode this week. It'll be today's. I think Christmas is on Friday and I will not be streaming that day. I won't even make it back here. Phoenix until uh, Sunday, so yeah, I will not be streaming probably all in the interim. Cross my arms now. Okay, let's see. Did I already pull my arms to the side? I think I did. I haven't done my arms wrinkles. <laughs> Pathetic. Let's keep my arms straight. It's always been backward. Okay, that's good. Machines. Oh my goodness, tired. Hip flexors, I'll do five. I'm trying to maintain my balance. I think it helps if I grab below my knee. Because if I grab above, it's more likely to slide down. Once more each side, and I'll do flamingos, toe touches, and then my health exercises. Try to get some of the static off. Okay, back and then front. What you'll find is that this exercise, the flamingo, Improve your leg muscles, but it will also improve your sense of balance, as I've sometimes said in the past. What I may have is, as I've said, an art. Oh. Art show for tomorrow. So I should still be streaming Wednesday. And then I'll give myself some room, reach for my toes, try and keep my legs straight. And if it's like tricky, as I've said, I can also just go as far as I can, try to gradually increase right over left switch left over right all right and hey why not I could use some inchworms I think I'll do five of them today so I go down
shirt is just mega staticky today. Anyway, so I'm keeping my legs straight when I go down. Okay, now two more. shirt as I sometimes say is dry quip material this shirt specifically I sometimes mention it is Joe's USA I think you should be able to find the shirts at joesusa.com and I recommend these shirts for all manner of physical exercises Cool about these shirts is they come in several different colors too. I've got a purple one of these and a green one too. They're comfortable, they're long lasting, very flexible shirts, and they breathe really well. So, if you've got a tendency to sweat a lot when you work out, these shirts are something you might want to try. But, I would recommend them just, just from a comfort standpoint. Okay, so I have 10 star jump squats, 10 jumping jacks, and then I'll start with my running and walking in place box set. There you go, I just need to watch out for that fan as usual. Three. Day, as I usually do with the um, reading story. And it will be holiday themed because, hey, <laughs> we're running out of opportunities for holiday festivities. Time's running out. After this, I'll do my start, my uh, jump squat. It's hard for me to remember, really. Second set. Five, four, and one. Walking now, second set. 10 seconds each stretch. Okay, here we go. Third set. Okay, final set. Okay, and then walk it out. All right, whew. need to tighten, I think. Like, <laughs> you can hear the static. Two, three, four, and five. Sink into your stance. Okay. Let me 
need a clean drink of water. And then we'll wrap up for today. important to stay hydrated. Oh, man. I'm gonna run to the bathroom too. I'm right back. Let's see, uh, Pure Gaming, yo, 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 thanks for watching, Pure, yeah, grateful to have you as a watcher and a follower, because we definitely could use more of you <laughs> on our squad, alright, so we got four exercises left, burpees, mountain climbers, push-ups, sit-ups, and the abdominal set, I guess, so technically five. I invite you to join me from home, or welcome to just watch. You can always use it as food for thought, or as I also say, modify as necessary. You don't need to do them all at once, and you don't need to match me one for one. If you can only manage five, Go for it if you can push yourself to 15. Again, you know yourself better than perhaps anyone else, so use that to your advantage when you're setting your own limits and assessing your boundaries. Okay, here we go. Gotta watch the band. I'm using my legs. Oh, Changing your view. Let me do a butterfly. 
why because why not yeah there we go better now tomorrow let's see we're definitely getting closer to Christmas five days away And yeah, one of the other channel ch channels channels is doing like a, yeah, a Christmas Carol sing along. That sounds cool, and yeah. Maybe pure another time. These are the athletic socks I wear. They are um, very comfortable. And these ones I got on Amazon, they are good for exercising, of course. But these specifically the tendency to get worn out on the soles the bottom like I recently had to donate like probably about a half dozen pairs recently because they tend to get worn out I had to get Hanes to replace them but the only problem is the Hanes aren't as comfortable so yeah I'm always on like it's on the lookout for uh, comfortable socks that are built to last. But yeah, these ones are probably my favorite of all time in terms of comfort. I think I got bit by something. Oh, all right. Okay. Here you go. Mountain climbers, I'll do five um, sets. Similar to the running and walking, where I do 10 second stretches, I also do 10 second stretches for the mountain climbers. Yeah. We don't have any pets, so I don't think it's, um, like, you know, fleas or whatever. Yeah, there you go, Pierre. <laughs> Okay, in position. Here we go. Five sets total. On your mark, get set, go. One, and resting. Seven, six, five, four. I gotta watch out for that table. Two, one, zero. Number two. Keep your breathing up. Okay, number three. Okay, push it to the limit. Four. Zero. Okay, fifth and final set. Here we go. Okay. Slow push ups now. I'll do 10 today. Slow drop. Push back. Two, three, four, five. You can even do these diamond. Six. 
I could do a couple of them diamond. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Okay. Reorient. It up. I think I'll do 10 of these. Itchy. Okay. Six. We'll pass that time. It's okay. Oh, eight, nine, and ten. Notice how when I'm doing them, I'm raising and dropping. I think that's the best way. To go abdominal set, this is rope and down up and down. Okay, two more up and out. Third and final set, kicks, okay, I think that's good, alright, let me get another drink of water, and then we're ready for today's sleep story. I could show you the soul. Pure. Oh, yeah, one of my socks. There's one of those holes in it that I was talking about. I want to get a drink of water. Yeah, I just finished Crime and Punishment, and I could have more, like, Either just chattings or maybe, maybe another game series. Like we almost so finished Phoenix Wright. And there are two other games in that trilogy. So, yeah, as always, I invite any and all types of feedback. <laughs> Or input and yeah a lot of the times I'll just play games that I want to play and that's how I determine it's like there are a couple different dynamics it's like uh, is it a 
fun game to play. One and two, is it fun to watch? And yeah, I think luckily there's a lot of overlap. Here, just for you. <laughs> yeah, but that right there is why I have to keep getting rid of, rid of these socks. Sad as it is, because they are comfortable. They are the most comfortable socks I've had, but they sure as heck get worn out fast. Getting us some music. It's not too loud. I think that's fine. Okay. Okay. Choose a story for this time. I'll try to make it holiday themed. Okay. We've already tackled winner's gift and Christmas treat ship. See if I could show you all what I'm looking at. There. So these are a few of our options. This is what we might want to try today. Baseball bats for Christmas. Christmas wind. I think we've already done this one too. Yeah, I'm 99 percent sure we've already done that one. Okay, let's see. Abigail and the Snowman. Starfield's Holiday Special. Garfield and baseball bats. I think I'm going to go for Garfield. It says 127 pages, but I think it comes out to be less than that. How the pages are designed. Garfield's Cheesy Holiday Special. The fat cat makes the perfect lasagna stuffed stocking stuffer in this oversized holiday one shot from some of our favorite Garfield pals. By Scott Nichol and Mark Vanier. Holly's Holiday Hope. 
Ah, the Christmas spirit is everywhere. We can see you guys then. We're heading for the store where John got that part-time job. He's filling in for Santa Claus, playing him and listening to kids' wish lists. I'm gonna go see. Can you do that, Opie? Opie? Oops, sorry, Odie. Yeah, yeah. that store keep an eye out for dogs Johnson this criminal dog ring right you heard about this criminal dog ring right no sir it's the boss don't you watch the news police report no leads in the crime wave that is robbing holiday shoppers the passerby took this cell phone video of this dog stealing a woman's purse and running off with it. Remember, don't let any dogs into the store or any animals of that kind, of any kind for that matter. If I can live up to the high standards of Santa Claus, just get out of there, Arbuckle. Listen to what the kids want and go ho, ho, ho a lot. The store that carries everything. Meanwhile, here we are, Odie. Boy, this place advertises itself as the store that carries everything. I want to stop at a store directory. Be sure they carry the most important product in the world. What do you guys think it is? I think it's gotta be lasagna. Right. We know Garfield. Ladies' hats, lag screws, lake dwellings, lamb chops, lanyards, lards. How do you like that? They're missing the single most vital thing. No lasagna department. What kind of place is this? Sorry, no animals allowed in the store. Without lasagna, I'm surprised any of them even want to come here. <laughs> yeah, maybe, Garfield, maybe. This is an outrage. Get me an attorney. Get me an attorney named Murray. I'm not taking this line down. Take everything else lying down, but not this. I protest. I refuse to leave. What are you going to do about it? Beat it. Yeah, throw you out, Garfield. I should have realized that was what he was going to do about it. Wah. Don't whimper, pup. There's got to be a way for us to get into that store and see John. It's called wait until he gets off, Garfield. There is. Shortly. He must be part of the Santa Claus promotion. Third floor. Elves can get in anywhere. <laughs> like I was saying, boss, keeping all animals out of the store, you can count on me. Dalton, Dalton, the security guard. This is the third floor. I wonder where they have John. Ta da! And I want a space invasion kit and a lot of video games and a new backpack and ho 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 
I, mean, I think it's a touching moment. I see it as a golden opportunity. Aww. As long as it's not Red Rider BB Gun, kid. You look under your tree Christmas morning, little man, and you'll see what Santa has brought you. Ho, ho, ho. Who's next? Garfield? I'll leave you a copy of this in triplicate, but let's run through it once, shall we? What lasagna? And ravioli. And frijoles and tacos and chicken chow mein. Crispy noodles. And a dozen cheeseburgers with cheddar and a dozen more with American. And a few gallons of clam chowder. And a whole prime rib, medium rare and roast turkey, and a few dozen shrimp cocktails, and a hot dog with everything, including ten more hot dogs, and a pizza topped with every single pizza topping in the world, except anchovies, ten corned beef sandwiches, and ten pastrami sandwiches, and a waiting pool filled with chocolate milkshakes, and apple pie, and peach pie, and pecan pie, and strawberry pie, and lemon meringue pie, and rhubarb pie, whatever that is, and banana pie, and a small Diet Coke, and a French fried potato farm, and a bathtub full of beef stew, some carrot sticks. Okay, that takes care of breakfast. Now let's talk lunch. <laughs> hey, do you mind? Santa John and I are planning our holiday menu. Maybe it is a bit much. We could lose the carrot sticks. <laughs> it's probably more than you can eat, Garfield. Grr. Hey, let go of my leg. Grr. I better go see what kind of trouble he's caused now. Santa? Where are you off to, Santa? Please hurry back. I got a really, really important Christmas wish to ask you for. I'm telling you to let go of my cuff, dog. Grr. It always amazes me how every so often Odie is actually good for something. <laughs> Wait, we can work this out. We can throw this out, this dog and that cat. Alert all security guards. Yes, sir. At the moment, I have but one Christmas wish. Wish for a place to hide until New Year's Day. Then maybe a clever disguise will do the trick. Guard all exits. That cat's in this store and he can't get out. And don't worry, he won't get by me. I've been a trained security guard for years. I notice everything. My eye spots even the tiniest details. Ho, ho, ho. He's already gone by once. <laughs> Told him maybe another time. I'll be able to. There must be a way to get out of here without that security guard dribbling me like a furry basketball. Santa? I don't mean to interrupt you, but it's real important. My wish, that is. My name is Holly. For Christmas, I don't want any toys or games or anything. I just want hope. I miss her so much. Hope? Is that her grandma? My mom and dad, they don't live together anymore. My dad left and my mom has to work all day. Hope is my only friend. And now she's ran away. 
Let's run away. That must be her cat. Oh, her dog. Okay. I was hoping, I was hoping you could make her come back to me. I feel sorry for the kid, but I can't be getting mixed up in her problems. I have Christmas plans. I have gifts to open and Christmas decorations to mess up and Christmas cookies to eat. Nope, sorry. Find another Santa, kiddo. Santa, you're turning me down? Of course I'm going to help her. This is a Christmas story. You didn't really think I was going to abandon her, did you? Oh, thank goodness, Garfield. <laughs> uh, my trusty assistant. Come on, Odie. We have hope to find. While in the store's main office. I couldn't find that cat and dog anywhere, sir. Forget about them. This woman's daughter's missing. I brought her in because she insisted on telling some wish she had to Santa. She was wearing a big red coat, you say. Wish I could help, but I didn't see her. She's with Garfield, John. Was her father with her? Her father and I are separated. She hasn't seen him in almost a year. I once knew a little girl. In that situation, she ran out to find her father. Holly wouldn't do that, but her father might have wanted to see her. I'll call him when I get home. Meanwhile, I'm so happy you're helping me. Santa, but you're not exactly what I expected. I knew you'd be this fat, but I thought you'd be taller. You do a good deed, you get insulted. You are what you eat, Garfield. <laughs> Everyone's staring at you, Santa. You're so famous, maybe it would be better if you had some sort of disguise. Wow, you can turn yourself into a cat. I didn't know you could do that, Santa. Hey, if I can fit down a chimney with this tummy, I can do anything. This dog of hers ran away. She probably didn't run very far. Let's check with some stray cats. They always seem to know where the stray dogs are. Yeah. And so... Nah, I ain't seen her. Might try down by the railroad yard. By the tracks. Don't recognize her. Try the park. Hey, do you have any spare food? You don't know me that well. I never have spare food, Garfield says. Or, thanks. And then the park. I don't know her, but I heard someone say that a dog named Hope has been living in that little cave over on the hillside over there. In the cave? Thanks. Did you find out anything, Santa? I sure hope so. Help, somebody help. The doggy stole my purse. Somebody help. Somebody catch that thieving dog. Rrr, rrr, rrr. If he's trying to stop him. I think that's Hope. Hey, Hope. Hope, I know you're in there. Come on out. Uh. <laughs> I don't think that's Hope, Garfield. Santa, this is no time to be climbing trees. We have to find hope. I'm surprised that dog's not going after her. <laughs> Only cares about Garfield. There should be a law against naming a vicious dog Hope. Well, that's because that's not Hope, Garfield. <laughs> if it was, she would be leaving with the dog. Herf, herf, herf. Good boy, but 
I trained you well. Get in the back of the van. Hey, I don't know who you are, but we can always use another pooch in our operation. <laughs> oh, he's kidnapping Odie now, too. You don't look too bright. It should be easy to train you to steal purses. Please, Santa, don't give up. We have to find hope. I'm not giving up, but we have another lost dog now. Where did Odie go? <laughs> I know that bark anywhere. It's Odie's bark. Where is he? He's in that van. Where are they taking your friend, Santa? Come on, we've got to see where that van goes. I don't know why I'm telling her this. She can't hear me. <laughs> Soon. Got another purse. And I got another dog we can train. Good. Because this pooch here stubbornly refuses to learn how to snatch handbags. Let's hope he found her. Those crooks have her tied up. Oh, Santa, what do we do? What are you two troublemakers doing spying on our operation? Santa Claus, do something. I did something. Freeze, Mr. Police Officers. Good thinking, Garfield. Way over, I flagged down some policemen to follow us. Within moments, we're taking them both down to the station. The animal control board will come collect the stolen dogs and return them to their owners. Fine, I'll take care of the one owner we have here. Tell us your parents' phone number so we can have them come down to the station and get you. Just my mother's number. My daddy doesn't live with us anymore. Across town. I came over to help you look for Holly. I think we should go out and look for her. Do you have the time, Hal? Because we never had the time for her when we were married. You're right. But I had a good reason. I was devoting too much time to my job because I wanted to make a good living. For her and for you. This may be the wrong time to tell you this, but I've changed. I realized I did it wrong. I'd like you to give me another chance. Ring. Maybe this someone would This is someone with news about Holly. Hello? You yeah, have, she's safe. Oh that's wonderful. I'll be right down. We'll be right down. Holly's my daughter, too. Hell, I never heard you care so much about her. Maybe you have changed. At the police station. Wow, I only got my dog back. I not only got my dog back, I even got my daddy back. He decided on the way here to give it another chance. Things will be much better, I promise. Thank you so much, Santa, and your little puppy friend. I think you're going to have a real Merry Christmas, Holly. Yeah. You know, Odie, you know, I'm not really Santa Claus, but right now I feel a lot like him. And it sure feels nice. Come Christmas morning, Odie, wake up. It's Christmas. Let's go see what Santa brought us. Odie, it's lasagna, ravioli, and frijoles, and tacos. Chicken chow mein with crispy noodles. And a dozen cheeseburgers with cheddar and a dozen more with American in. It's all the things I put on that Christmas wish list I gave John. How are you going to eat it all, Garfield? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Did I remember to thank you? Garfield, I'm glad you're grateful, but I had nothing to do with all this food being here. This is the gift I got you. I don't know where it came from. From Cody, come on, let's eat it. I wonder who put this here. Santa Claus wouldn't cater a meal like this. Would he? Sometimes I like to reward someone for doing my job for me and making holiday wishes come true. Merry Christmas, Garfield and Odie. Ho, ho, ho. Just 
this goes to show. Maybe there are Christmas miracles after all. Hope you've enjoyed this special cheesy <laughs> holiday Garfield special and fitness stream. This has been Stormer Show. I should be back tomorrow and Wednesday for the lineup. We'll probably be late evening tomorrow for tomorrow's show on Wednesdays, but after that I'll take a quick break. Uh, probably four or five days. And I predict that uh, I'll stream again I think Sunday at the earliest thank you for watching and wishing you all happy holidays